love of horses come from, I really do not know. There is nothing in either sides of my family, my background, to indicate where it comes from. When I was a young child, my granny had a pub and um, in the pub they always used to have the horse racing calendars with the race horses on and I used to sit and draw the race horses. I think the first actual live horse I ever got to see and touch was probably when I was about 13 years old. Where I lived in the council house, um, up the road there was a field and some wealthy, a wealthy family lived there and they had two ponies and I used to go there and stand there for hours and hours and hours with this pony and then one day the mother come out. She needed um, a friend for her daughter who used to go to a private school and obviously she didn't have many friends. I was allowed to sit on this pony called Silver. The first time I got on this pony and basically the pony went trotting up the field. I think that was probably the most wonderful feeling in the world for me. I used to stand sometimes for hours waiting for the girl or the pa her parents to see me to come out or, and ask me if I'd like to do anything with the horses. I'd just be standing there living in the hope that I might just get an opportunity to spend a little bit of time with her and be able to groom her pony, whatever. My parents never really had any money. I left school when I was 14, started work when I was 15. It wasn't until I was in my 30s that I was in a position to basically get my own horse. I was a furniture retailer and um, I had a little bit of a spare time. I got my very, very first horse. I knew nothing at all about keeping horses, but I learned. I thought, I really want to know how to do this. I don't want the horse in the livery yard with other people doing it for me. I want to know how to care for my horse. And he was actually a pacer and he was used in the races to pay for pace with the car because he was never a riding horse till he'd been retired from racing. And bearing in mind, I didn't really know that much. Me and this horse, we had a ball. We taught each other, we learned from each other, we'd done everything together and we kind of worked it out together. And then I got my second horse, uh, an Arab, a foisty little Arab. And really, I think in the early days, those two horses probably shaped me to the person that I am now. They just shoo me something deep inside. They shoo me a part of me that I'd never ever knew was there. And they shoo me the, the absolute joy of relating to an animal and trusting it. I just love them. And I'm just very, very lucky to share the rest of my life with them.